We wanted to find out if products you could easily buy on Amazon for your kids contain lead levels that exceed the limits set by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. We bought things like a toy football, princess costume jewelry, wooden blocks, even shoe charms. These are the same types of toys that we saw with violations or being intercepted at the ports. Now the Environmental Protection Agency recommends that you use this test. It's called a 3M lead check swabs. We also grab this, it's called ProLab Instant Surface Test Kit. I wanna let you know, all children's products in the US must not contain a concentration of lead greater than 0.009%. That's 90 parts per million in the paint or any similar surface coatings. Experts tell us touching toys with lead paint on them, that's not necessarily bad. It's that kids like to put things in their mouth, so ingesting the lead is what could poison them. These tests only tell you if lead is present. They don't tell you how much lead. So let's get started. So for this one, you just need a glass of water. It comes with this dropper and swap. You just drop two drops on it, then you take the football, and then you just rub for two minutes. And this does not appear to have lead in it. If this had lead in it, it would turn pink, red, and purple. We're gonna try the costume jewelry. And again, this one has not changed color. Let's move on to the 3M lead check swab. So with these, you get a little test kit. So if you keep getting negative results, this actually has lead in it. So it shows you that they're actually working. Also important to note, you wanna keep all of these kits away from children. And I shake. We're gonna try the football again. So we do this one for 30 seconds. All right, so I don't see any pink or red, so this test is negative. We're also gonna test with the lead test swabs that we bought online. So you can see these are yellow like the other ones, and this one, you just dip it in water, get rid of the excess water. You can see it turns bright yellow. And then you just hold it against the product for 30 seconds. It's really hard to tell with this test. It's orangey. I can't tell, it, but it looks like there might be some pink in there too. We just got our first positive result. This is from the 3M test. You can see it's pink. It did not test positive with the ProLab test. It is testing positive with the 3M lead check. So we tested this again and we got a negative result. We originally got a pink test. We tested it again with the same brand and got a negative. So we don't know if that's a false positive. Overall, we tested nine products and we don't believe that we got a real positive result with any of them, which is good news for toys that we bought online. But again, for us, it was also about showing the ease of using these products. You can search to see if a product you bought is recalled at cpsc.gov recalls. The only downside, not everything that is given a violation by the Consumer Product Safety Commission is actually recalled or listed on this site. You might also try Googling a product to see if you notice complaints from other consumers. For Investigate TV, I'm Rachel DePompa.